Hey friends, I'm Jen, and I love that I get to host you here in this podcast. Good God Talks is all about seizing these small moments of time to have life-changing conversations with God. As we enter into this new season, we're focusing on a specific passage in Isaiah, where Isaiah is telling us four of the names that Jesus will be known by. And this isn't really a name like Jesus, but it's a descriptor of who he is. And so in Isaiah 9 verse 6, it says, For to us a child is born. To us, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so we're taking the next few weeks to really look at these four names, and we're starting today with the reality that he is our wonderful counselor. Now, this episode is launching in January. If you're listening to us anytime in the beginning of a new year, counsel is something that a lot of us crave as we're starting a new season. This could be the start of a new calendar year. This could just be entering into a new season of your life, but we need counsel. We need direction and we need good wisdom. We need knowledge. We need practical instruction as we walk out those new things. And the good news is, Jesus is our wonderful counselor. The hard part comes in because we don't always see or respond to him that way. And I have three W words as I'm talking through this. And it was kind of funny as they popped up in my prep for this episode here. It felt very uh, weekend message of me. I have three W words for us. Wonder, wait, walk. Jesus is described as our wonderful counselor which again, building on the Advent series we just concluded, we can approach him with wonder, with awe and marvel at the reality that the God of the universe, the savior of our souls is also involved in our day-to-day lives as our counselor. He also regularly asks us to both wait and walk with him. In Psalm 106 verses 12 through 13, It says, then they believed his words, they sang his praise, but they soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel. Now, I'm not the they they're talking about, but I can relate to that. Celebrating Jesus, being grateful, singing his praise, but then forgetting what he does and not waiting for his counsel. And then Psalm 32 verse 8, this is God speaking. And it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. So Jesus is our wonderful counselor who invites us to receive his counsel, to walk with him, to walk out the way we should go and to wait upon him, to not be impatient, to not run off without seeking what he would tell us. I was convicted as I was thinking through this and talking with God about it because sometimes I think I want God's blessing of my plans instead of God's counsel for my plans. I want God's blessing, his provision, his favor in my life, but I don't want his counsel for how to live my life. I like that he is my wonderful counselor, but I want to grow in seeking him out in that way. I want to grow in waiting for and walking out his counsel. I want to stay in the place of being full of wonder at the fact that he is our wonderful counselor, who gives us good, sound counsel, who teaches us in the way that we are to go. And so we're asking him, we're inviting him to do that in our lives today. Most of the time here in the podcast, my closing question is directed to God. And I believe in the Trinity, our God is triune. We have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In these few episodes, I'm directing the question specifically to Jesus because we're learning who he is called and we're making it personal. Do you know him as your wonderful counselor? No matter where you are in that journey with him, I know he invites us to receive more of him in that way. And so here's our question. Jesus, what do you offer me today as my wonderful counselor? Have a good talk.